Hey, what's up, guys? Tonton is back here, and today we'll do the review of the Earthrise Ironwork. This is the new line after the Siege, and here we have Ironworks in his robot mode. Yeah, I'm doing things a little bit different today. Here's what he looks like from all the sides, like so. Here he is, and this is Ironwork. As you can see, he's an Autobot, and he has a lot of paint. The the main color of him is black and yellow and you see there's a lot of paint the paint is quite contrast I really dig that color you see here the red and this is the Autobot logo if you look closer here you can see that his head is quite nice you got like a gunmetal gloss paint on it I think and this is the arms as you can see here it's a formal crane you have a lot of mechanic piston details on it I really like this kind of paint technique. It's like a, a, a weathering vibe. You see a lot of piston here as well. The paint, the weathering. I think this is like the they paint the yellow color onto the black. That is why he looks so good. He got some really nice effect. And down to the hips. Despite that, they are not con they're not a fixed piece, but like his hip rotation is quite limited. Yeah, but yet still you can see a lot of mechanical details here, joints and as you see this panel, this is like a uh, recognition of the uh, siege and the uh, earthrise and this is hollow but I don't have a problem with that, it means that better articulation and if you look here, I, at first I thought this is like a screw but actually this is like a painted details really nicely done painted details here on both sides of the feet really good and he comes with a blaster which can attach on both of the hands on him but we have the horse standard Wolf or Cybertron there we go like that and it can detach and you can hold it in a different way. And pretty nice. Articulation wise, his head can spin 360. His hand can rotate. Bring out like that. And here's the bend, the elbow, and the swivel. The crane thing can rotate as well. Really nice average articulation for a transformer. Rotate, turn, and you got double jointed. Oh. And that is really good. And the hand, unfortunately, the hand is fixed. The hips, I will tell you, is, is very limited. Kick to the front, split is good, swivel, and the bend of the knee. Sorry. You see it's hollow, so you got really good articulation and a foot pivot like that. And with the gun here, we're gonna start pulling his whole body out. I mean like this is um standard thing for earth ride figures. You can see it brunt or something, they're all parts forming. Because I think this is kind of like an accessories figure. You take everything of him out, the panel is here. Just pull everything out. You can see here, you can take this piece here, just leave them there like so. And now I'm gonna start transform him by pull Folding the legs to the position like that. Here with this panel, you're just gonna open them up like that, bring them 180 like that. Leave a size and for this piece, what you gonna do is you wanna turn the head and hide and hide it away like that. And open this shovel thing. His chest looks like a shovel. You have to connect them here. 
two holes, two peg, peg them in, peg them in like that. This piece here, what you want to do now is connect it. So you got this here, first one in, and now here, second one in, done. And now for this piece, is for this, the join is really obvious, just plug it in like that. You bring one, one leg up, one thighs up, sorry, to reveal, to make a peg. This one here, the hole, you're just gonna plug in the gun like that. And you just plug it in like so this one here it's kind of not really stay in place you see this plug just plug it in like i said it's good bad because of the transformation put this up you see the hole here put this you see this is peg bring it up and just pack it pack it in like that and this is ironwork in his uh, micro base form micro tower form i think this is more like a tower look from all the size there's nothing much, too much to say about him to be honest you can see here very nicely a lot of mechanical details really good printing and if you look here if you like the inside of the panel it have all the details like the uh, frame the metal frame of the structure which is really nice and yeah and that is I think that is supposed to be a, like a landing base landing pattern or something I don't know it's kind of weird to me and because he's then he's a tower he doesn't do much just stay in one place and yeah and this is compared with Earthright Optimus Prime and Mirage and Iron High as you can see, he's quite tall. And now to his second form, this is the base. What you want to do now is set the leg in this position. And you want to take out this piece, two packs, and pack them in like that. And with this piece, you want to fold them in. And connect them to that that peg, like so. And with this body section, you take out the take the mini gun, put it into the body like this, and just peg it in, plug it in. It helps secure the whole platform together as well. You see this piece, plug it. The, other, the big gun here and you take the crane the crane arm flip this as a pack in this body that you want to do is you plug it in like so this here let's make a let's make a like a uh, road for that here we go and this is his third form which is a micro base like I said, he's a part forming, so you can play with him. Actually, quite fun. I enjoy playing with this figure. Look at all the size, and if you see the pattern here, all the lines are connected, like there's some kind of rope, which is a really nice touch. So like a oh, big like a oh, transformer base, which is really nice in this form. As you can see here, the crane can rotate like with the arms yeah, and that's basically it the comparison with Mirage and you see, you see in this form he's flatter but then he lost the height this is with Iron High and Prime Prime's still in good size though and that is the review of the uh, 
Earthrise Ironwork. A little bit of information that in G1 he's actually a MicroMaster, but then in the Earthrise line they decide to make him a uh, normal transformer. He doesn't. I mean, like his uh, release that is similar to uh, Brunt. Like there are parts forming transformer, which their parts can be used for different transformer. Like you can play with them, which is really nice. Otherwise, he's uh, if you display him robot mode, he he still look okay for your collection. So yeah, I still recommend him. And that is my review of Ironwork. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and hit the like button and be sure to share this to all transformer fan you know. And I leave my Instagram link in the description below, so follow it and talk to me through Instagram. And that's it for today. I'll see you guys later. Okay, turn turn out.